Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I am Doug. This is Doug Sells. All right, today we're going to do a little something different. I don't really have enough sales to do a complete sales update. I've made some sales in the past week to week and a half, but it's still just, it's not flowing like I want it to. So I'm going to give it several more sales before I do a sales update. Also, I've not been thrifting this week because last week I've spent almost $200 and I'm kind of in the hole for this month. So I need to get, I needed to get stuff listed and, you know, see if I can make some sales. And so that's why I'm not doing a thrift haul this week. So if you're new to the channel, I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, I sell on Poshmark, and I sell on Instagram. And on this channel, I just like to share my journey and what's selling and do like a show and tell of stuff that's in my store, stuff like that, you know? So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna look at some vintage t-shirts, some of my favorite ones that are in my store. And I have two extremely rare vintage t-shirts that'll be at the end of this video so stick around for the end so you can see the two really rare ones and i one of them i should get me a lot a lot of money and i'm excited about it i just hope somebody buys it all right the first shirt i have for you is a winona judd shirt it's a tour shirt from 1998 and it's one of my favorite ones i don't i like the i like the color blue on it and and the black and then uh, you got the back with all the tour dates and stops that she made. But I've actually worn this one out a few times. It's in my store, but I've worn it out a few times and it's really comfortable and it fits me perfect and I just really like it. So I'm hoping to get this one sold real soon. All right, this one doesn't quite fit me, but it's a Reba McIntyre uh, tour t-shirt. Let's see, it's a uh, 1995, 1995 tour. Doesn't have any like any stops on it, but it just says Reba 1995 tour, and it's got uh, Reba and all of her lovely fluffy hair on the front. And I actually can't believe this one hasn't sold yet. Uh, but yeah, that's another one of my favorite ones. All right, here's a really cool shirt. It's a Led Zeppelin T-shirt. Uh, on the back of it, it says 1969 to 1979, but this t-shirt was actually printed in 1991 so it's still vintage and uh, it's one of the most famous bands of all time so it's really cool i like the coloring on it uh, it really pops with the blue and the green and the red and it's just a really cool t-shirt can't believe this one hasn't sold either because there's not a lot like this on ebay i checked there's not a lot so uh, i'm selling this one for right around 100 bucks you know i might put a best offer on it at some point but that's what we're shooting for so far really cool t-shirt i wish it fit all right here is a very cool t-shirt it is a looney tunes t-shirt and it's the all over print so the the all over print front and back shirts are really really popular the only thing i don't like about this one is it's a 3xl so that kind of like slims down the audience of uh, people who would want to buy this one especially for the price i'm trying to sell it so i did see this one go for quite a bit of money from the 75 to 125 dollar range so of course starting out i'm right at the top at 125 dollars trying to sell this shirt uh, i've had some offers i had like a 60 dollar offer that i turned down and uh it's got a lot of views and a lot of watchers hopefully somebody bites on it real soon but it's a real cool t-shirt i like it a lot so look out for the all over print shirts the and with the graphics just from a head to toe on it so a really cool t-shirt all right next we got a leonard skinner t-shirt i've actually worn this one out a few times too this one also fits me perfectly and it's really soft and really comfortable it's from uh their tour 1993 not a big money shirt i'm trying to sell it for about 35 dollars. can't believe it hasn't sold yet but uh it's a really cool shirt like I said, it's really soft. And if I was, I'm not a Skinner fan, but I've worn it just because it's vintage and it's comfortable. But if I was a Skinner fan, I'd really keep this shirt. But I'm hoping this one goes to a good home real soon. All right, here we go. Here we, we're getting into the 70s now where the shirts probably don't fit anymore, but they're still really cool. This is a Jethro Tull Bursting Out Tour 1978 t-shirt. Uh, it's about as long as it is wide. So it's got like a really funky uh, shape to it. And it's gonna fit really weird for somebody so if they don't mind it being a little short you know then this is a really cool shirt i think i'm selling this one for about 75 dollars 
just because uh, I haven't seen one like this on eBay. It's like, maybe it's kind of rare. I don't know, but I wish there was something on the back, but there's not. I mean, there's some slight discoloration, but there's really no, uh, there's no stains or any tears or anything like that uh, on this shirt. But uh, hoping this one gets out of the store pretty soon. All right, this one's kind of unique. It's from 1979. I picked this up on a haul. A lady had a bunch of uh, vintage t-shirts that she needed to get rid of. So I went to her house and like, I bought a lot of t-shirts from her. This was one of them. I live in Shelby County. So it says Shelby County Cow Chip Chunkin Championship. I don't know what the hell that is, but I like it. I like the artwork on it. I wish it fit. And I think I'm only selling this one for about 25 to 30 bucks. Um, yeah, but th this is another one. It's kind of really hard for people to search for it because there's no real specific uh, subject matter to it. So that's one reason I've had trouble selling this one. But anyway, hope the right person finds it one day and it goes to a good home. All right, I love picking up these kind of t-shirts, these vintage t-shirts. This is from the 80s. It's a Hange t-shirt. It says Brian's Bar and Grill. I don't know. I think I looked up Brian's Bar and Grill one time, but I can't remember where it was. But to me, this is just like the perfect vintage t-shirt. It's so lightweight and thin. Like you can see, like you can see right through. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but you can like see kind of right through it because it's so thin and it's just soft and comfortable. I wish it fit me because I would probably keep this one. So I've got this on sale for the right person that ever searches for Brian's Bar and Grill. Uh, so hopefully somebody does that one day. And I think I'm trying to sell this one for 30 bucks. All right, so this one's from the 90s. It's a Branson, Missouri uh, country music t-shirt. And I like it just because of the all over print on it, right? So it's got the all over print on front and back. It has like guitars and banjos and music notes and all kind of stuff to represent uh, country music. And I can't get any views on this one, man. It's such a it's such a rad little t-shirt, man. But I can't get any views on it. I've switched up the wording. I don't know what else to do. But somebody's going to find this one day and it's going to make them very happy because this is a really cool t-shirt. All right, here's a cool t-shirt. It's a shovelhead t-shirt. I didn't know what shovelhead was when I first saw this. I just knew it was vintage. It had the vintage tag. It had the single stitch on the sleeve so i knew it was older like from 95 or older so i picked it up brought it home did some research on it i'm not a bike guy but shovel head is a type of motorcycle engine that goes inside harley davidson so i was able to list this as a harley davidson shovel head t-shirt it hasn't helped because nobody's bought it yet but uh the shovel head vintage shovel head t-shirts were going pretty well so i started real high with it at 50 bucks no bites yet but still a really cool t-shirt perfect fade to it uh it's a, it runs a little short uh that may be one problem it runs a little short but otherwise it's just a great t-shirt and uh hope i can sell it soon man all right here's another t-shirt from that lady that i said i made a run and like bought a bunch of t-shirts from her she needed to get rid of them i just like the artwork on this one and it says memphis on it i'm from memphis it's like a fourth of july shirt uh it says july 4th July 2nd through 4th, 1982, and it's a fifth annual charity rod run, whatever that is. I think it's just like a car show or antique car show, something like that, but it's really cool. I like the artwork. If this fit, I might keep this one, but I think I'm only trying to sell this one for about $25, and uh, like I said, again, it's going to take the right person finding this because there's no real specific subject matter. I try to list it as like hot rods and car shows and stuff like that, but it just doesn't get a lot of hits, but Hopefully the right person will find it one day and it'll make it. All right, we're down to the last two guys. These are the two that I told you are very rare. So the next one I'm gonna show you is a very rare t-shirt and I'm trying to get a lot of money for it. And then the second t-shirt I'm gonna show you is like a grill t-shirt, holy grail t-shirt for people who like concerts and events and music festivals and stuff like that. So let's get to it. First t-shirt. 1970s Olivia Newton John concert t shirt. It says Olivia Newton John, Memphis, April 2nd. Doesn't have the year on here, and I think that's one thing that's holding this t shirt back. But I looked it up, and Olivia Newton John did a concert in Memphis, Tennessee at the Mid South Coliseum in 1976. So that's the year that this particular t shirt was produced. And um, one of my ex-girlfriends, she had a, a 
friend that used to work security at the Mid-South Coliseum back in the 70s, and he used to get these concert t-shirts whenever people would come through and, and do concerts at the Mid-South Coliseum. And so I sold a bunch of t-shirts for him. This is one that's still in my inventory, trying to get 500 bucks for it. Maybe I'm overshooting, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But it's a really cool shirt, really small. Smith, it's gonna fit like a small, but uh, I thought it was really rare. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. There's no defects at all. It's in pristine condition. Like somebody, somebody just gotta grab this, man. A collector just has to grab this. This is such a cool shirt. I love it. All right, and the last shirt. I just picked this up a few days ago, actually. I posted on my next door, you know, next door, like, you know, your neighborhood website, whatever, that I was looking for old stuff to buy from people, like old shirts and jackets and hats and stuff like this. Somebody contacted me, said they had a, an original Woodstock t-shirt from 1969. So I did a little bit of research on it and there weren't any solds. There's not even any shirts like this on eBay. Uh, there are some very similar. There's one like this, but it's navy blue, and somebody's trying to sell it for like 600 bucks. Uh, the other one that I saw that was very similar to this, but not the same, the guy's trying to sell it for like seven grand. Okay. All right. So it's a rare t shirt, right? It's discolored. It's got a stain on the bottom. The guy that bought it said, he never wore it, but somehow it got so dirty. He said he bought it, but when he got back to his hotel, it didn't fit. So he never wore it. It's just been in a drawer or a closet or wherever for like all these years. And so I offered them $50 for it and they took it. So I paid $50 for the shirt and I'm hoping to get a lot of money. I'm not going to tell you how much I'm selling it for. You can probably look it up if you want to. Maybe if you just subscribe to the channel and in one of my sales updates one day, I'll show you that this baby sold and I made a lot of money. So yeah, let's hope that actually happens. All right, there you have it guys. Those are some of my favorite vintage t-shirts that I have in my store right now on eBay. I have hundreds of vintage t-shirts over there and non-vintage t-shirts. I do a little bit of everything. If, if something's nice, I'm gonna pick it. So yeah, so that's, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little show and tell there. And uh, hopefully I'll have like a thrift thrift haul and a sales update for you guys real soon follow all the social medias i'm doug thrifts on twitter i'm blue city vintage on instagram i'm also doug thrifts on instagram i got a tiktok everything i'm gonna put it all in the description follow the socials if you want because i'm really active on the social media and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you for viewing take care